Hi everyone, this is Usi Jem Limihilio, a pioneer artist of Iloilo Prima Galao. I'm in Ottawa, Ontario, and I have been a registered practical nurse for almost seven years. And I just recently became a Canadian citizen, which I'm very proud of. Of course, I'll never forget Pinoy mo ko currently, we're still in a pandemic, and it's always been hard at work, but we do our best to keep our residents safe and keep everybody safe, especially here at home. Super ingat. Um, right now, I stay active as an artist by doing this. Anything creative that could really drive my um, artistic juices up. Watching Broadway during the pandemic and appreciating art in whatever form or shape may come from. They say experience is the best teacher and that what has been Prima Galau was for me. Prima Galau has taught me to be confident on and off stage. In real life, I apply that learning and has taught me how to be determined and always to be goal-oriented in life. And has taught me how to be passionate and how to be caring for other people, which I've applied in my nursing practice. So. Prima Galau has been, so far, the best teacher that I've had in life. If we're gonna talk about uh, most memorable experiences um, that I had with IPG that greatly affected my life as an artist and a person, I think that would be being just a Prima Galau artist in general really changed my life and greatly affected me as a person because without IPG I wouldn't have the confidence and the life skills that I've uh, used when I moved here in, in Canada and I was able to interact with the people here and um, culture shock wasn't that much of a big deal for me because I was able to interact and cope and work with people of different races without a problem. I knew what I had to do I applied all my skills that I've learned as an actor and then I imbibed it in my real life here in Canada which was so much easier on any confidence building skill that Ililo Prima Galau had to offer. Most memorable experiences for me is probably the Pasinaya Arts Festival. I mean the both times that I was able to perform at uh, CCP was a great honor only for a Prima Galau artist, also for a uh, Filipino artist and a Longo artist. As it's always been a dream of everybody who has been into arts to perform in the cradle of dreams or the cradle of arts in, in the Philippines. Cultural center of the Philippines is it. It would be followed by me being uh, one of the project heads of Mesaigon or Dreamland back in 2012. It was a year-long experience. It was a revelation and I was able to practice leadership skills during the time as a project head not only to manage myself as an artist also uh, a whole cast and crew of an entire production and you have to be hands-on and of course working with Sir D and um, the rest of the project heads as well. So that was really a, a revelation for me because I was able to handle it with grace. Not so much at times, but I was able to finish, uh, follow it through at the end. Probably a struggle for me as an artist uh, in Prima Galau was alternates. Not having one, having one, I think that was, was a big adjustment for me. Fun fact, since uh, 2004, when I started at, at Cultural Club, when I landed the role of Padre Teban, I never had an alternate. I was thinking, was it an honor or a disadvantage of not having uh, an alternate? Because everybody seems to have an alternate but me. So I, I, I didn't know what to take of it, but I, I took it probably as, as a compliment because there was nobody who could um, do the role, I guess. I, not to sound, that to be sound conceited, but a disadvantage because I, I didn't have to do like other roles than what I was assigned back then. So when I first had an alternate back in 2011, it was interesting because it was 
with a young actor, a young artist before in the name of JM Villanueva. It was so um, adorable as, as as Puck. So it was a I can I can compare myself with him, of course, because he's a little boy, he boy not anymore. And there's a, there was no comparison back then, it, and it was a relief. The first time I had an alternate was a relief because I didn't have to do the same role over and over again for the entire production. Um, the next year when we did Masaygon, that really sat in like the hard. Probably I struggled as an actor because I was. An alternate to um, none other than the great uh, R.V. Javier, <laughs> Raymond Javier, who was the engineer. I struggled as an actor myself on how to find and how to mesh in his own style. Bottom line is you just have to do it on your own. Be yourself and be able to discover uh, what kind of actor would you like to be or how would you deliver the character yourself and never compare yourself with anybody else. If you felt that you didn't do well, then do better the next time. I guess the bottom line is that you have to be you, never compare yourself, and learn to discover things for your own betterment. Probably things that I could share to the world of what IPG is, is that Ililo Primagalao is more than just a theater organization. It is more than just a venue for young artists to strive and grow. It's more than just a place or a school for young learners to learn more about arts. IPG for me is a home composed of brothers and sisters, not by blood, but by passion that we were able to discover ourselves, to inspire others, and to learn more about what the world has to offer. So for me, it's something that I always go home to whenever I'm home. So that is it for me, Uzi Jem Dimihilio, your pioneer artist for this week. Make sure to check out our other videos posted and make sure to click like and subscribe. I hope I said it right. <laughs>